Cause I love you for infinity I love you for infinity And, uh, but it's certainly it's much more than studio, it's a, it's a factory. It's a whole system from a conceptual forming to production skill and also promoting and expand the knowledge of glass and trying to push it into a new stage. So it's a visionary and it's a practitioner. These two worked very well with uh, a general Lincoln. He had lifetime contribution to Devoto Marana Glass. I respect that very much because I have worked with uh, uh, you know, traditional workers in China, porcelain and uh, fabric making, furniture, all in every respect, bamboo making, and uh, I, I love the knowledge of the past. I think without understanding the knowledge of the past, we get lost. We don't know the future if we, we don't understand what has been through as human society to struggle through and trying to find a, a language and make something more accept, acceptable, a great narrative to humanity and, uh, you know, as a human society, that's why I appreciate Venice as a city and uh, Marona Glass as a very special um, products or, or facility for, for glass. But very often we find the problems. Very good, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I, I think you also refer, you also cover my second question. Practically, so I think I jump on the third one because I would like to give some space also to the audience. Yeah. Um, my third question is this: Death is a central preoccupation of this exhibition, Memento Mori. That is the subtitle of the show. Memento Mori. We cannot escape it. You recently said that's very interesting in an interview with the London Times that your art will die when you will die. I, I tend to disagree. I think it will live on, but I'm curious that you feel you will vanish in this way. What do you think we can gain from encountering and accepting our own mortality? Well, as anybody else, we all had a life that's been given by God or whoever we call it, and it's, it's been given, and the one day we have been taken away, and it's so equal, and it's so clear, no one can overcome that, it doesn't matter how we think we are superior, in many times we think we are, we, the life would last forever, but it, which is not true. So there's only almost two conditions. An individual, lacking of understanding of life, lacking of awareness of that precious giving moment, the period of time, complete lacking or ignoring. Or another condition, over-exaggerated the human's ability to think we live forever. The both are a sad situation. So how to match your life precisely by giving time? It's, it's, a, it's an art, it's a skill. So I have no illusion about my heart would last. <coughs> Just like a Van Gogh have no illusion one day his work is even worth a penny. But you know, it's everything so ironic. It's human society. Well, thank you. 